Hey y'all, welcome to fourth grade, chapter 10, lesson three. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, before we do, I just wanna go over with you guys really fast um, the ways to distinguish between the different triangles um, and be able to classify them. So, equilateral, equal, all sides are equal, okay? Isosceles triangle, looks like an upside down or a right side up. Ice cream cone, isosceles ice cream, okay? That means that two of the sides are the same and one is different, okay? Feeling, none of the sides match in length. And so one of them would tip the scale, okay? That's how I remember feeling. One of them is super heavy and would tip the scale, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to classify these as equilateral isosceles or feeling. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two, okay? None of these sides are the same. One of them would tip the scale, feeling. Okay. So now, two of these are the same and one is different and it looks like an ice cream cone. So, isosceles, and I'm gonna spell this wrong if I don't look at it. Okay, this one, all of them are exactly the same. Equal sides, equal lateral. Perfect, okay. All right, Marcus drew a line from point Y to point W on the rectangle shown below. He created two identical triangles. Classify the triangles by their size of their angles and by the lengths of their sides. So from Y to W, okay? Y to W, pretty straight, pretty impressive for me. Okay, so first notice that each one of them could put a box right there and we would have right angles. So this one is going to be right angle. And you will also notice that none of the sides are exactly the same. So one of the sides would tip the scale, scalene. Okay, all right. Is it possible to draw a triangle that is both obtuse and equilateral? Why or why not? Okay, so let me draw y'all an obtuse okay ready is it possible for those sides to be equal okay you can see that even if these two sides are equal this side is not equal okay it's much longer okay so no Okay. Any obtuse triangle has unequal sides. Okay. Okay, also, you could also have no, it would still be no, but on an equilateral triangle, all angles, are, and I'm gonna show you this, okay? On an equilateral, every one of these is smaller than 90 degrees. So all of the angles are acute, okay? You could have either one of those, okay? All right. 
Let's go over to the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check like always. And we're going to go ahead and go down to spiral review. So Samantha has three times as many baseballs as Mark. Mark has 12 baseball cards. Write an equation that shows how many cards Samantha has. Okay. Well, Okay, well, Samantha has three times what Mark does. And Mark has 12. So she has 36. Done. Okay. A store worker wants to pack 137 cans into boxes. Each box can hold nine cans. The worker fills as many boxes as possible. How many cans does the worker have left over? Okay. So, 137 divided by 9, okay? 9 is not going to go into 1, so we're going to put a placeholder. 9 will go into 13 one time. 1 times 9 is 9. We're going to subtract and get 4, okay? 4 is smaller than 7, so I'm going to go ahead and bring down my 7. It says 4 is smaller than 7. 4 is smaller than 9. Four is smaller than nine, so I'm going to bring down my seven, okay? The closest we're going to get to 47 is 45 if we multiply it by five. So five times nine is 45. We're going to have two cans left over, okay? Make sure that you guys show your work. Okay, show your work, guys. Got to. All right, Gina has 24 raisins. She wants to give the same number of raisins to each of eight friends. Draw rings around the groups of raisins to show how she should divide them. How many raisins does each friend get? Well, they're in stacks of four. That's good because it means that two stacks is equal to eight. Okay. Okay. So I have three sets of eight, okay? So each friend would get three raisins because there are three groups of eight, okay? All right, name quiche is cut into seven equal parts. Only three sevenths of the quiche is left. He wants to give three friends an equal part. Write three sevenths as the sum of unit fractions. Well, okay, so three sevenths is equal to one seventh plus one seventh plus one seventh. Done. Okay, the denominator stays the same because we have our common denominator and then we have one, two, and three. All done. Okay. All right. Thanks for hanging out for 10.3. Come on back for 10.4. See you soon.